One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Christmas happy holidays it's that time of year again and we're gonna work on some holiday Christmas tunes this time we're gonna work on jingle bells up the neck kind of an intermediate advanced beginner arrangement we're gonna play it in scrub style I did a beginner version of this a while back down the neck that taught like a basic down the neck solo but this has such a great melody I thought it'd be fun to work up a solo up the neck this is one of those songs where in my opinion you don't want to stray too far away from the melody, but you want to adapt that melody, make it sound like a banjo, add some rolls. That's what really what we're going to do for this song. So we've got a solo for the verse and a solo for the chorus that I'll break down both note for note and then show you some up the neck backup. Again, we're going to get a lot of practice with our F shape, D shape, bar chord shape. So kind of those up the neck movable chords, you really have to know those and you'll get a lot of practice with this lesson. All right, let's jump into an up the neck version of Jingle Bells. We're in the key of G. Let's get into this one. All right, let's start breaking down this verse solo for Jingle Bells. So remember, we're going to try and stay pretty close to the melody while adding a little bit of rolls. We'll play like the first nine measures. That's going to be like the opening melody line. Then we'll start breaking it down. Here we go. start breaking it down so measure one is going to be our pickup we're gonna hit the open fifth string so we're kind of sitting in this D shape G chord is gonna be our opening melody line so up here at the ninth fret you're kind of you're probably familiar with this chord hopefully and what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna leave my third finger off just to kind of free me up to just make it a little bit easier so that's the shape we're gonna work out of I'm gonna hit the open fifth string for a quarter note and then I'm gonna do like a, basically like a Scruggs lick. I'm gonna do a backwards roll, M, I, first string, second string, and then play the ninth fret on the third string with my ring finger, of my, of my left hand, excuse me, left hand, and then seventh fret. So you have. The other thing I'll do with my right hand for this, so, so, Pretty much the whole solo is I'm going to move a little bit away from the bridge to kind of sweeten up that tone. Personal preference, but I, I kind of, I, I think it just sounds a little bit sweeter to play it a little bit further away from the bridge than I normally would. So. so that's what we're doing. And then we have our opening melody line. Let's just play this, the single note melody is the seventh fret. And then ninth fret on the first string, so some good ear training here. And then seventh fret on the first string. And then eighth fret on the second string. And then seventh fret. So you have. So hearing that first jump is really good ear training. So just a little theory really quick. We have the D note, which is our fifth degree of the scale. And then you'd have the sixth degree here, seventh degree here, eighth fret's our root. And then you have the second degree here, and then the 
third degree. So we're jumping from a low fifth degree of the scale, the D note, up to the a higher third degree of the scale, in this case a B note. So it's a pretty decent jump. It's good ear training practice. And then we're basically coming down the notes of the scale. So we have five, three, two, one, five. Those are the degrees of the scale, not the frets I'm playing, okay? So you have D, B, A, G, D. Just good ear training practice there to hear that. Sometimes it's hard to hear those bigger jumps, but that's that's just good practice, right? So we have, so that's the single note melody we're playing. Okay, and that's it, that would be basically measure two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play that seventh fret, and then I'm gonna do a quick eight to nine slide with my pinky just to spice it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna do, instead of playing it straight, like that, which is the melody, but not super interesting, I'm gonna do a little bit of a roll. So I'm gonna go. So we're basically playing that melody. I'm actually hitting that note, it's the same note there, eight and open. So that fills the melody, right? And then I'm just using that open D string to just, just fill, right? So. So I basically slide my pinky up, and then I do that roll, and I take my pinky off. And then we're gonna land here. Put your fingers back down into that D-shaped G chord and do a little roll. So we do thumb, index, middle, and then thumb, and then middle, index. It's almost like a partial forward reverse roll. And, and the melody there, right, is just, it just hangs out there, right? So we're just using that measure three, the second half of it, to fill that space up. And then we play that same lick. So that we just played in measure two, and now we slide into a C chord. So I'm gonna slide from eight to nine, and then I'm gonna do a little roll to fill up the space. Again, kind of like a forward reverse roll. So remember the melody there is, C chord and we play this ninth fret, right? So we're just sliding into that to give it again a little attitude. And then we're actually going to go to an A minor chord so you can hear the harmony if you put your ring finger on the 10th fret of the second string. It would also be this chord here, right? We're just going to spice it up with a little bit of harmony and we're basically staying in that, that shape. The A minor is the relative minor of C. So you can basically just stay in that shape and what we're gonna do is we're gonna play that ninth fret, 10th fret on the first string, which is already down with your pinky. Take your pinky off, put your ring finger on the ninth fret of the first string, and then walk it down to the seventh fret. And then we're gonna grab this seventh fret here. So what we wanna hear is, right, so that's the melody. We could do it here, Grab this note here, which we're gonna do later, same note as there, but we need to get to here, so that's why I walked it down a little bit earlier. Like that, right? So that's what we're doing. That's uh, measure six into measure seven. So we have. So let's put that together from measure five. We have. Keep all your fingers down as long as possible. It's really gonna help it smooth it out, right? So I'm, I'm keeping these fingers down. I'm keeping my, my middle finger and index finger down as long as I can. So I don't lift those up right away. You see how it's just choppier when you do it that way, right? So I'm sliding into that, trying to keep those notes down. Do a six seven hammer on with the foggy mount roll so your thumb of your right hand comes down. Use this fifth string right here to slide this whole shape up to the 12th fret, and then you can kind of take off your middle finger. And we're going to play the 12th fret twice, and then down to the 10th fret, and then the 10th fret on the second string. So we're basically taking this shape and we're just moving it up here, and then kind of using that just that harmony there that's what we're doing so you have this G here you slide up one fret with your ring finger and then put your middle finger down that's like the next harmony and 
then we're using that harmony here on a D, right? So that's what we're doing. So we have... Right there, and then slide up 10 to 12, and then do that same hammer-on lick that we just did on the D chord. See how we're using that same lick? We're sliding into this one. This one we did down here. We didn't slide into it, but the right hand is the same. And we're you see how we're using that same lick? It just it just adds a nice theme to your solo. So that's something I like to do a lot. So we're, we're right here, remember, in the A minor in measure six. Land here. This is a D now, so we're changing harmonies. Use this fist string to travel. Keep your ring finger down, don't lift up, and then do. Slide up. Right, the melody there is. So we're using that fifth string. I like using that foggy mountain roll right here, right? But you can basically start sliding a little bit earlier than you think. The other thing you can notice there is we're, we're changing what string we're playing the melody on, right? We're not going... You could do that, right? You could, So that would be another option, right? You could do something like... And then maybe slide in this shape. But we're making it a little more scrug sounding by doing it this way. Turning this lick more into like a scrubs lick, right? So let's play those first eight measures. Here we go. Without talking. 